So we were, received a call from National Marine Fisheries yesterday around 3 o'clock saying there was a dolphin in distress uh, north of the Skyway Bridge um, and they were asking if we were open for rehabilitation if uh, this animal um, deemed warranted of that. Um, so we said we were open and ready to receive. Uh, then FWC went up um, with the help of some boaters, uh, loaded up the animal and brought her down to moat about 5.15 last night. But she's an older animal. We just know that just by her teeth. Her teeth are worn down a bit. Um, she has a shark bite on her peduncle area. It's not uh, fresh as in yesterday fresh, um, but it's a significant bite. Uh, and she's a little on the skinny side, not horribly. Um, so we really don't know. She was found in a red tide, high red tide area. We are testing for that at the moment. Um, so we will have that information. Um, but right now we're just trying to get her stabilized. Um, she's in critical condition, but swimming on her own. So when she first arrived, obviously we um, went ahead and obtained a blood sample because we need to know where her parameters are. We also went ahead and hydrated her. Um, because of the shark bite, we knew there was going to be an infection present, so we started antibiotics. And most important, we tried to get her swimming. So the first month is, uh, was the toughest month. We had to start her out slowly on food, so we actually made out a fish gruel for her. Um, so we would be hydrating her every four hours um, between the fish gruel and just regular fluids. Um, she also was getting antibiotics and we were doing um, every other day wound care with her. So it was really uh, Salem's blood parameters that started looking better. We started increasing her food poundage, lowering her water temperature. She started interacting more with her environmental enrichment devices. So we knew she was feeling better. And so slowly but surely we got to raise her water level, increase her food poundage, and she was um, a much more normal dolphin in the water. It's been rewarding seeing her flourish over these past few months with some supportive care, encouragement, getting her to swim on her own um, and eat and to gain this weight and let her body recover. Uh, it's been an amazing process um, that we couldn't have done without our volunteers, support, and National Marine Fisheries was awesome even though the government was shut down, uh, getting um, all the permission we needed to. It's been a, a whirlwind to get her out, but uh, we're very hopeful she's going to be successful. Yeah, it's really rewarding to see an animal that came in and would have been dead had we not intervened. And for us especially, uh, we've seen a lot of death from the red tide over the summer, so uh, to watch her flourish in, our, in this environment and be able to put something living and healthy back into the Gulf is going to be amazing. amazing.